See it now, stood there, tears rolling down our cheeks, filling up just thinking about it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, give mummy a kiss. Mm -hmm. We'll see you later. Um, I've, I've baked a cake for the birthday boy, and we're going to send this one off in style because he's got to go to America. <laughs> That's what he's got to do, hasn't he? Can't see we'll pack early afternoon. I'll give you a bell. Yeah, be good for Grandad. She always is, aren't you, sweetheart? <laughs> see you later. Bye, love. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I could feel someone's eyes boring into me back. And what a lovely pair of eyes they are as well. Back off. It's not very friendly after yesterday. Let's go inside. That's more like it. It's becoming a bit of a habit, this. Me locking you in. At least you're not on your own this time. Look, the gear, I need you to shift it as soon as you can. Do you think you can do that? Why, what's the rush? Because the longer we hang on to it, the more chance of it being found, and I want a shot of it. And you. Feeling paranoid? No, I'm just coming to my senses. It's a bit late for that. Me and you do business, and that is it, OK? Is that what you want to call it? Everything okay? She can't stay away. Follow up call. We had a little chat the other day about crime prevention, didn't we? Ten out of ten. Taking my advice. Right. Then the door being locked. That crime prevention and all, is it? Well, that was to keep her out of view. I mean, it'd be bad for business with the old bill sniffing round. Is that it then? Anything else we can help you with? No, oh, that's it. Till next time. Mm, can't wait. Neither can I. Because one day, Ross, you're going to get careless. And that's when I'm going to have you. See ya. I could have you done for harassment. She was going to write pain in the backside, didn't she? Uh, tell me about it. I think she fancies me. Hey. Looks like someone can't keep away. Open your ears and shut your gob. I'm going to keep this quick. Has anyone ever told you you've got a split personality? The gear. Do not sell it. What's happened? The police raided Gary North's house this morning. They found nothing. They're all over that jewellery like a rash. Do nothing. You told me to sell it. That's before I realised it was red hot. It's a bit late for changing the plan now. Every copper within a 50 mile radius is looking for it. Do you want to get caught? Or is this you just messing me about? Just do as you're told. <laughs> Right. What part of stay away from me do you not understand? Oh, I could have called round to give you this, but I was worried you might not have been able to keep your hands off me. Where did you get that? What did you think? I told you to hang on to it till it was safe. I made sure it was. What do you think I am? An amateur? Yeah, because you're acting like one. There's nothing amateur about me, but you'd know that. Look, I'm the one who risked his neck leg and it's London with a bag full of dodgy old towel. All you had to do was stay in bed. But it's too much hassle for you to take the cash. I'll hang on to it. Are you on your own? I was. No, 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 I'm not here for that. I thought it was my body you were after. You haven't had time to sell that stuff in London. Straight down the M1 last night, same bloke as last time, straight back. Sorted. Well, you better not be lying. Why would I lie to you? It's long gone. Never again, OK? Until next time. No, there won't be a next time, because just holding this makes me feel sick. It's over. Finished. And does that go for me and you as well? Yeah. Goes for everything. Look after yourself, all right? Don't look at me like that. I'm fine. Oh, here. Yeah. Can't be miserable when there's chocolate around. For breakfast? Oh, healthy eating's overrated. I'm not guilt-tripping myself into being good anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.